No, he spoke Hebrew. He spoke Hebrew. In order for you to know his name, you have to know the ancient Hebrew tongue. Now, I'm going to tell you his name. His name, his father's name is Yahweh. His son's name is Yahweh Shai, which means he is the deliverer. All right? What's that? I didn't hear what you said. I don't, do you understand what he's saying? I don't understand what you're saying. Huh? Help you? Well, you can be helped by listening. Just listen. You got to listen. That's what, that's the problem with Israel. You don't listen. You got to listen. The scriptures say, give me that and uh, be swift. Uh, give me that. Listen, man. You got to listen, all right? Give me the book of James, the first chapter. I'm going to show you something. Now, you call me brother. So if I'm your brother, what is our nationality? No, I see. See? Now you're going to say some damn African. We're not Africans. We are uh, just for the last, what is it, half an hour? I've been telling you we're Israelites. You haven't heard a word I've been saying. That proves that you don't listen, man. Now I'm going to read it out the Bible. No, you got to listen, all right? You got to listen. Read. James chapter 1, verse 19. Wherefore, my beloved brethren. Now it's true, you're a brother, and you are beloved because you're an Israelite. The Lord do love you. But this is what the Lord say. Read. Let every man be swift to hear. Let every man be swift to hear. You know what it means, swift? It means quick to hear. Quick to hear. All right, read. Slow to speak. Slow to speak. Read on. Slow to wrath. Right. The point is quick to hear, slow to speak. So you got to be quick to hear and slow to speak. And you got to lay off that drinking, man. You got to lay off that wine. Give me that in the Proverbs. No, you can't say nothing, man. You got to listen. You got to listen. All right, then. Yeah, I am for real. You ain't for real. You don't want to hear. You ain't for real. What's that? Right. Where's that in the Bible? What scripture is that? What scripture is that? Well, you made the statement. What's, where is that in the Bible? Ain't for real. Where is it? What, oh, man, you ain't for real. Goodbye, man. Anyway, read. Proverbs chapter 20, verse 1. This is why the Lord says this in the book of Proverbs. Read. Wine is a mocker. Wine is a mocker. Wine is a mocker. I guarantee you that guy is drunk, man. I guarantee you he's drunk. You got to lay off that wine. Got to lay off that drinking. That's why you, your faculties are not straight. You don't even know what street you're on. Let me ask you, what street are you on right now? Read. Strong drink is raging. Strong drink is raging. Now, you know, he, he, he drinks. You know why he drinks a lot? Because he's catching hell. But he don't, want, he don't, he don't understand that the, ant, that the beginning of the healing from him catching hell begins when he listens to the word of the Lord. Because the Lord explains to you, knuckleheads, why you catching hell. You ain't going to find the answer from a bottle of liquor, you dumb asses. You're going to find the answer from the Bible. Because liquor ain't going to save you, so-called Negroes, West Indians, and Puerto Ricans. The more you drink, the Bible just said it, read from the top. Wine is a mocker. The more you drink, the more you mock yourself, the more you make yourself look like an idiot. See, now Noah got drunk, but Noah was in his tent when he got drunk. He was in his house. You can drink and get nice, but don't come out of here on the street because you make yourself look like a jackass, man. Your faculties are not straight. Read it again. Wine is a mocker. The Bible said wine is a mocker. Read on. Strong drink is raging. Strong drink is raging, and that also ties into other philosophies. The Lord compares other philosophies like Muslim, 5% of Baptist, all that bullshit. The Lord compares that to wine. Just like you drink wine and you, you become drunk. Those of you that's in those stupid ass philosophies, you are drunk on madness. Those of you who are calling yourself a Muslim, you are drunk. You are two times drunk. Those of you who are calling yourself a 5%er, you are three times drunk. in the church systems, you are ten times drunk. And I got some good news for you so-called white people. Prepare for slavery. You're going into slavery, boy. That's where you're heading. 